Hello fellow booktubers, my name is Lauren, you're watching Dreams Books Courage, and today is another Top 5 Wednesday. So for today's Top 5 Wednesday, we're talking about fictional schools you'd want to attend. I think this topic is absolutely perfect for right now since we're all starting back to school, and so I'm really excited to start this topic. So let's go ahead and get on to number 5. So in my number 5 spot, I have Looking for Alaska by John Green. And boarding school books are kind of the best. I really enjoy reading stories about them, especially from John Green's perspective since he's my favorite author. And so I really enjoy hearing about this school. It's loosely based on John Green's boarding school, which I think even took place around the same area and he pulled pranks like the kids did within this book. It's a really interesting book. I would definitely recommend you guys pick it up and read it. I'm picking this book based on all of the pranks and awesomeness that seem to ensue within this novel. Alaska and Miles really make this book amazing and I just really enjoyed all the adventures they had and it just seemed like a really interesting school to go to, especially if I had friends as interesting as these to join me in my adventures. In my number four spot, I had to, of course, put in the Shadowhunter Institute because it's so awesome, especially within City of Fallen Angels by Cassandra Clare. I really enjoyed learning more about the Shadowhunter Institute with all of their rigorous training and also they're very fluent in a lot of languages and they know a lot about culture. And I really wish more things along the lines of cultures and languages were taught within high schools these days, but they're really not. So I really enjoyed reading about them and seeing how fluent they are in all of these languages and how that really helps them within all these adventures. The entire school aspect of the Shadowhunter Institute sounds really amazing and I think it'd be absolutely awesome to be a Shadowhunter. In the number three spot, I have The Boarding School of Paris in Anna and the French Kiss by Stephanie Perkins. This boarding school seems really awesome. I mean, who wouldn't want to go to a boarding school in Paris? And besides all the awesome stuff that comes with Paris itself, you also get to experience the cuisine of Paris, and it just seemed like even their cafeteria had just like this amazing kind of food that my cafeteria would never have, and so it was just really interesting to see all the awesome kinds of food they have there, along with just being in the midst of Paris and being able to go to all the amazing places that are within France. In the second place spot, I have a book that's actually part of the middle grade series and that is Alphas by Lisey Harrison. This book features a very interesting concept in which you pick the most exceptional kinds of people that are teenage girls and they are dancers or musicians or aspiring actors, just people like that who have these amazing dreams and they're really going to fulfill them because of how hard they work. And you put all of these girls on this one island called Alpha Island and then you nurture their passions to the fullest while also setting them in a competition to see who is the most alpha of them all. I really enjoy this concept because it's really nurturing people's passions even while they're still in high school and it's just working really hard to get those people to the best that they can be and it's just a really interesting school. I definitely recommend you read this book especially for the school aspect because it's just amazing how they really do set you up for success. In my first place spot, I have to feature the series that I've loved since I was a child and I'm still waiting for my acceptance letter from Hogwarts, obviously. And so, of course, I have Harry Potter. And of course, this is by J.K. Rowling and I picked Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire because of the competitions exclusively featured within this book and just how they really nurture these wizards to be amazing while they're still in school. Just everything about Hogwarts is amazing. I think I've said it enough on this channel already, but just being able to cast spells and drink butterbeer and just all the amazing magical things that go along with Harry Potter, I just don't think I need to say it anymore because we all know how amazing and magical Harry Potter really is to all of us. And I absolutely adore this series and the school is absolutely amazing. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Tell me down below what your top fictional school that you'd want to attend is, and I'll see you guys next time. I'm going to go get back to reading.